Hello YouTube, this is Nihon805 and I'm here bringing you another food review. Today I have for you from Lawson's the breakfast item. I have the sausage muffin, 190 yen. Um, so what do we got going on here? Does this look familiar to anyone? Because it sure did to me when I first saw it. I couldn't believe my eyes. But yes, this is basically um, uh, a McMuffin uh, minus the egg. I mean, you could definitely easily put your own egg in there, but you know, this is half everything else that you would have in a McMuffin basically. Um, they say sausage. Um, to me, this definitely looks more like just ham. I mean, I mean, I guess you could call it a sausage, but this definitely says ham. It looks like ham to me. Obviously, has that American cheese slice there. And um, actually, I did not open this yet. This is actually still in the package. Um, I thought I, should, I know most of the times I, I, I do reviews and things I've already made, they're already taken outside of the package because it takes time to cook. This actually only takes, according to the package, it only takes 45 seconds. So I thought I would just literally show everything what goes on, what what the a food I am fresh uh, just just recently bought looks like without opening it. You can get an idea of what what goes on to the what goes on in the package and all that. Um, so I thought you know if you look at it, you know this is actually um, a very common and as far as Lawson's goes, many other items come a uh, few of our items come in this kind of package. Their hamburgers come in this package, um, chicken sandwiches come in this package, and obviously the sausage muffin comes in the package as well, just like this. Um, obviously it says hamburger, so obviously they're just reusing it. This changes, of course. This says sausage um, muffin. You know, it'll change depending on what the item is, but you know, this is basically what it comes in. And it's the same, um, as far as instructions go on how to cook it, it's the same as the other ones. You basically, if you look here, you have to vent it, and it comes with this, it just has this little, if you can see that, maybe, yeah, there you are. Um, you just tear this a little bit to vent it. You put it in the microwave for whatever long it takes you, forever how long it takes. In case this case, um, it takes 45 seconds in a 500 watt, but only 15 seconds in a 1,500 watt, uh, which is what they usually have at the uh, at the um, the convenience store itself. They have that you know industrial strength microwave. I just have your basic everyday microwave that every that many families have, um, 500 watts. So it takes a little bit longer. Um, it's definitely a little bit less than what's standard in America, I would say. Um, but, you know, I guess it, it cooks the same job. It does the same job, it just takes a little bit longer. So I thought um, i just go ahead, pop this in the microwave, 45 seconds. I'll be right back. I mean, I'll literally, I won't even turn the camera off. I'm just going to go put it in the microwave, come back here. I'll talk about a little bit of something, and then I'll get the, the food out and talk about what, what it actually tastes like. So here I go. Okay, so while that's cooking, as you can hear in the microwave, I'm sure, um, yeah, Lawson's, it's a great little store. Um, I, I should really do some sort of video inside of a Lawson's. I don't know if they want, if they would let me do that, or if I just have to kind of just shoot a video, but no talking. Um, because Lawson's, they have, like I said, they have everything. Um, it literally is a convenience store, because they have a little bit of everything. They have everything from your um, hair, uh, hair gel, shampoo, soap, razors um, you can get shirts you can actually get dress shirts um, at Lawson's they're like basic white dress shirt for every salary man wears every uh, blue collar work or every white collar worker would wear that has an office job you can get that you can get tie yeah, I've actually seen ties there and there goes the bell um, you can get uh, sh uh, socks um, for women you can get pantyhose um, and then of course you can get all your food items you can get your um, you can get your uh, of course your ramen noodles um, your ramen, you can get your um, potato chips, and, you know, basically the same things you would get at a 7-Eleven back home. And then you get some things that are a little bit more uh, uniquely Japan. You can get things like um, oden, which is basically like, uh, you know, it's like a stew, basically, of items. It, you know, there's a broth, you put your... You, basically what happens, you go there, you fill it up your cup with whatever you want, or you tell the person what you want, you fill it up, they charge you, you can put in, you know mushrooms, tofu, whatnot, anything, whatever they have in the, in the, on the, uh, in the, what you would call it, the, uh, not container, but anything they have in the serving tray, you pick, and then they charge you by the piece. You can get, um, you can get corn dogs, they call them American dogs in Japan, um, they taste all right, I've had a few of them, um, the, the sausage itself, the hot dog, 
is tiny compared to the batter. So what you really get, you just get like a lot of uh, a lot of fried batter and then a little bit of a hint of a sausage taste. Uh, but they're decent. They're decent. I definitely get them because they're easy, cheap, and convenient, uh, and of course convenient. But um, I'll have to get back to that some other time because my sausage muffin is in the frit in the uh, microwave. I'm gonna grab that, come back here, tell you what I think of it. Okay, YouTube, here we go. It is hot. I mean, it is burning. Uh, there we go. Well, let's hold this right here. As you can see, uh, cheese is melted. Oh, and you see, there you go. Cheese has melted. Nice and soft. Soft muffin. Um, hot, like I said. Um, you can feel the steam from this little vent. But uh, let me get this thing open. We'll give this a uh, try. Like I said, to me, it looked like a sauce, uh, an egg McMuffin. Um, Kind of smell like an egg McMuffin. Um, you know, eggs by itself, they don't really have that much of a, of a s smell, I guess. You know, if you buy an egg McMuffin, you taste, you smell the cheese, um, you smell the bread, and you probably smell the ham that they use. But um, yeah, it smells like an egg McMuffin. Soft, not hard. No, no, uh, you know, the bun didn't, or the uh, the, so the uh, English muffin is still nice and soft. Um, yeah, this does not smell like ham. It smells like so it smells like um, it's not like the sausage that you get at like a Denny's or at, or even at McDonald's. It's not like that ground sausage. This is more like it smells more like salami, to be honest. It might be it might be salami actually. Yeah, but anyways, I can give this a bite. Tell you what I think of it. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. You know, um, you taste basically everything. I mean, you know, English muffin by itself doesn't really have much of a taste. Um, but the English muffin actually, it's not buttered. But it is, it's not buttered, but it's still moist because um, uh, <laughs> the grease of the, of, the, of the sausage or the cheese and the cheese kind of makes it a little bit more moist, which is nice. Definitely taste the cheese. The sausage, like I said, I think... Just looking at this, I don't know if you can see. It looks more like uh, some sort of salami or some sort of um, something like that. It's it's not. It's definitely not just ham. There's some flavoring in there. There's, there's a little bit of a little bit of a spice there. Um, but yeah, it does taste like. I mean, if you put if you put an egg in there, like a poached egg, like they have at McDonald's, you know that perfectly round um, hockey puck shaped egg. Put that in there. It tastes pretty close. It tastes a lot like an egg muffin. It might even taste a little bit better because of that sauce. The, um, the ham at McDonald's really doesn't have too much of a taste. This has at least a little bit of a, a kick to it, so it might even be better. Um, like this is not yeah. Like I said, it's not bad. It's pretty good for 190 yen. However, um, you know about you know almost two dollars. Um, it's an okay, it's an okay value. I mean, I could definitely eat like maybe three of these things, and then you kick that price up and you know you're getting like six dollars for this in that sense it might not be great for it and not be it uh, might not be a great deal but just having one for 190 yen if you just want a quick snack not bad i like that um i like this um so my opinion i give this a uh, four out of five i like this i would come back to this if it's late at night after after going out with friends and all that and I, i've actually done this where i've gone to a mcdonald's in japan and they are actually closed um, even though I was told that they were open 24 hours. Right across the street, there was a Lawson's. I'd definitely pick this up. So until next time, this is Nihon805, and I will talk to you later.